You don't need legs if you can fly, Jason. Huh? Silly guy. He's, I need legs. No, you can fly. I flat my legs to fly. Um, in the top center starting location, we have the Obama toss. His idea is... SKMC. Beating ST with that three-gate stalker rush. Very sexy. Uh, in the bottom starting location, we have cross spots. Losing to the three-gate. How will he handle himself this game? His ideas. Whoa! I am nasty. We're everywhere. <laughs> That's just a metaphor for an ST. He's the pylon. He's the two location. He is everywhere. He's the two location. Yeah, man. That's you. I don't think you were actually looking at the screen. No, I, saw we, I saw it. I saw it. We went to the starting it's location like number two. Funny, it's a funny. Well, that's what it's called, Artosis. It's, it's got a two there, and it's a location you could start at. Nesty is that location. The two location. Yep. I'm surprised it didn't go to the infinity symbol location as well. Uh, well, two is one of the numbers that makes up infinity. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, you know, we do have just a completely standard opening here from these two. <laughs> Nothing actually to really speak of going on. MC going for forge expand. ST pull into expand, no doubt. Nesty, will he go for that quick third base? Um, yep. Yeah. Well, he's going to have a third base no matter what because he's putting his expansion over there in the third go. base location. Exactly. Uh, we really can't glean too much from these stats down here. Um, Uh-oh. No, yes, you can. MC is for oh. sure going to win. 100% <laughs> or 0%. Give me a break, man. What are you, crazy? You're a crazy guy. So, um, this should be a pretty long game. Three base starting out with two base. Can't tell anything from that. Always win versus one, never win. One guy had one win. The other guy had one loss in this map. 100% for zero percent. Pretty clear what's going on here. Mm -hmm. All right. So MC knows that uh, there's going to be a three base play by his opponent here. Oh, uh, by the way, I, in case you are just listening, not watching, starting from GSL season two, dual streams. Second stream will start from 1 p.m. Korean Standard Time. I actually like that. Uh, and yeah, that's for too. Code A, because before they played at the same time, I don't know about you guys, but I found that uh, heartbreaking because I would choose one to watch. I don't I don't know. It's hard for me to watch more than one stream at a time. I'd get really into it. And yeah. uh, then I'd have to watch the VODs later. So, anyways. Anyways. That's a nice nice little thing for GSL. Thank you, GSL. Well, you know, here at Golem TV, which, well, you know, not just a Dan and me, but the entire staff is trying to make this the best possible esports experience that we can uh, give you guys. Not just esports experience, but best possible experience. Best possible experience ever. Some people are like, oh, the best day of my life was my wedding day. Or, oh, the best day of my life is when my son was born. You know what? No, the best day of your life is right here, now, right now. Here. You're watching MC against Nesty. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. This is it. Exactly. And you know what might be even better? Is next week when, when we have another CODES day. And then that way, every day is basically the best day of your life if you're watching GSL. Yeah. Pretty excellent way to live is having every day be the best day of your life. Yeah, I would take Except that. Except for the days where there's no GSL and then it's the worst day of your life. Yeah, well, then it's actually just like crisis mode. No! Don't end it. We'll be back. All right. Oh, he did not save the probe there. So we nipped him in the butt. MC is going for a Stargate opening, and he's going for that with absolutely no sentries because, of course, he scouted that it was going to be a three base by blocking the hatch. It's just that this is something that we're seeing over and over and over again uh, by Protoss players. You know, you can skip that gas, get it way later because you're so safe. MC is also going up to three Zealots. Oftentimes, MC will go uh, two Zealots and a Stalker and push out. He always likes to pressure a bit Zealots, and it's smart. Now that there's two Zealots, you know, against one Zealot, you can have four Lings. Uh, against two Zealots, you're going to have to have, like, six Lings or eight Lings and, and use your clean and micro. And then against another Zealot, it's just, it's very annoying. So, good moves by MC. Now, I want to see what he's going to do with uh, this tech. He's getting one Void Ray. Oh, already starting a Phoenix after it. Roach Warren going up for Nesty. So, uh, MC is going to go uh, Void Ray Phoenix, but what is he doing out of this? Could be a quick third. Could be a timing attack. We don't right. know. All right, two Zealots coming here. He needs to protect the drones. Oh, nice uh, little block there. Two links also coming up. 
Whoa, pretty darn good micro there. Oh my god, Nest he. He lost almost nothing here. He's only lost three drones this game. Well done. Here comes the Void Ray and the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Void Ray almost crossed the map. At the minimum, he'll kill some overlords. Hopefully what? you get a bit of harassment. You're just in range, get him. Over Run, oh, overlord, crap. get out of I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Teleport successfully. So then give that Void Ray a pair of glasses. Imagine a Void Ray beam going through a lens. Oh my oh god, yeah. fully charged I bet you could melt ants with that stuff. Oh dude, you wouldn't melt their ants, you'd turn their ant, like, home into glass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that uh, looks like he will get this, um, Overlord, but the Void Ray losing shields here. And Nest T countering this correctly as uh, he's getting harassed. He's just pumping, pumping, pumping drones. He did get a decent amount of speedlings out because whenever you see Stargate Tech, you got to be a little bit careful. Have a few units in case you get supply blocked. But uh, he's he's droning heavily, getting plenty of spores. Looks like everything should be safe. In the meantime, MC going up to Robo, getting additional gateways, getting his plus one attack as well. Just a very solid follow-up. We, and we can't tell yet if he wants to hit a timing or he's getting ready to expand. Well, it looks like he wants to expand because he's attacking the rocks. Yeah, I I would not be surprised. This is one of the best builds to expand off of. It's kind of a variation of the way that Genius likes to go about it. Ooh, now, Nesty's actually getting a Hydralisk skin. And yeah, he has a Roach Horn as well. I have seen Nesty in the past against uh, Phoenix openings go Hydra Ling to bust the third of Protoss. I don't actually think that's what he's going to do here. I think he's just going to get some Hydras to go with his Roaches, but I would love to see him try that uh, Hydra Ling style again. All right, clean up some more Overlords here. Nest TV is pretty diligent about making, uh, over making Overlords since he knows the threat of losing Overlords uh, can cause a uh, supply block. So Nest T's actually been handling this very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, both players have not really made any mistakes, yeah. except for just a second ago we saw in our Joseph's preview screen MC misplaced the third Nexus and then cancel, yep. and then replace it, so. Ness T gonna see exactly what's going on, oh. and he knows basically everything that's going on at this point. Um, I, I, oh, 12 Hydras in the way and Hydra range. Interesting, looks like he does want to try to go for a bus, but there is a Colossus on the way. If the Colossus is out, with this many sentries, let's see, he has six sentries with a lot of energy on him. And when he sees the Hydras, he might want to make a few more sentries. We'll see where uh, Nesty wants to actually attack to. Uh, a lot of... Well, not really. I don't know why I started that statement like that. I'm like, a lot of damage being done to these Overlords. Like, no, not really. Tasteless. Yeah. Um, so, we are definitely going to see some Hydra Roach aggression. Here. Yeah. They are going to have plus one and Hydra range. Now, you got to remember, Roach guys... Speed. Sorry, Erto. I didn't mean to run over you. Go ahead. Uh, you got to remember, guys, uh, when Hydras are off creep, you, you better... No, you're going to win that battle because Hydras are so slow off creep that they can't run away. Mm -hmm. They just get killed. Yep. All right, so uh, I got to say, uh, MC's build is very tight. It's very well done. The style that Nesty's battling this with is a bit archaic, actually. Uh, you know, this is what people were countering the Phoenix into third base with, like, two months ago. Yeah, kind of an uh, anachronistic build here. Yeah, I mean, he's taking another base behind it, though, so it looks like he's not going to all-in with it, so that's that's good to see. Actually, he's making, like, 50 Zerglings as well. Uh, but <laughs> well, maybe he is this, attack. Yeah, this is... Uh, if the force fields go off correctly, uh, for MC, there's just no possibility of this actually hurting him. I don't know why Nesty's doing this. Yeah, uh, so... MC just crushing through this again. This is this is the style that people were using uh, two months ago. I'm not sure why he's doing this, and uh, it's as you see. I mean, all the Protosses that have used builds like this know how to stop something like this. And now Nesty's entire army is shredded. I, I, I do not know why on earth Nesty picked this decision. You can see and, MC is, yeah. is, is will gladly accept this donation of units to him. Yeah, and that's the beautiful thing about this, uh, that he can lift up those units, they can't even get away. So now the supplies are even. Uh, there is an additional base for Nesty, and he's making, well, he's making 13 mutas, but we have six uh, Phoenixes out. So if he just micros his Phoenixes right and starts Phoenix production again off three base and six gas, 
I mean, this is, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I know there's not a lot of Zergs out there and everyone wants to see uh, Nest go through, well, I'm sure a lot of people want to see MC as well, but MC has uh, very clearly outplayed Nest so yeah, far this game. He's he's just picking better strategies. Yeah, and, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I'm just surprised you don't even really see that, that Roach Hydra counter anymore, even on the ladder in Korea. It's well, bit. it's just it's. It, well, you do it, see it, but it's like you normally have not the tools to stop it if it comes. So yeah. Well, you know, it, it, here's the thing: if MC had gone Twilight, right? If he had gone Twilight instead of Colossus, then that attack actually is pretty pretty scary, and then and Nesty can maybe do something. But going the Colossus, it's such a steady style. Uh oh! Don't do it, Nesty. Okay, okay. Has he's going to be very careful because that number of Phoenixes, also he's upgrading Phoenix range. Yeah. But that number of Phoenixes, um, look, look, I, I, guys, this might, game might look like nothing's happening, but actually MC has like, got such a perfect unit combination. He does. That when he moves out to attack, I do not know what on earth Nesty is going to do. Nesty threw away a bunch of units early on. Uh, Although Nesty's supply, in fact, is even ahead, mm -hmm. there's going to be this very, 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 very scary attack that's going to occur. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what Nesty's going to do about it. MC, uh, I would say give it maybe one or two more minutes, he will move out. Yeah. Uh, Nesty is getting a Banely Nest. A lot of mutas continue to upgrade them, getting a lot of spines. Uh, that plus one for Phoenixes, more Phoenixes popping out. Phoenix range is done. Uh, basically, when MC maxes out, his army is not going to be something that can be taken out by Nest T. So Nest T is going to have to stall with spine crawlers and do counterattacks, and that is why he just made that expansion right there because he realizes, okay, I have to just start making bases everywhere because this is going to become a base trade scenario no matter what. He was trying to find Whoa! Out. What is he doing? And uh oh, he's got to get out of there. The oh my Phoenixes God. are here, though. Oh no, Nest T! And these, the Phoenixes this is have the range kill everything. Look at this, he's actually trapped them. Oh my God, you can even see. Oh my God, okay, he's actually gonna split them up. And to everyone who Whoa. thought that that range upgrade wasn't good with this build, you it's pretty are darn good. Now, uh, you have been corrected. Well, losing the Mutas, yeah, this, I think this game is about to end. And Nest T really doesn't have anything going for him. In fact, he's making four more Mutas. That's not going to do really anything. Um, and the the counterattack here by MC should be just way, way, way too much. Like, even if he had a bunch of ground units, there are, would be 11 lifted into the air immediately. Well, Unfortunately, made Nita's, and they're just going to die to this plus hey, one. Can you, I never tried this. Can you lift a, a Morphine Bane lane? Uh, I believe so. You no, can? Does, 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 does it Bane keep Bane Morphine? Bane. Uh, I don't know, actually. I just haven't tried that. Yeah, and I never never had that situation. Yeah, Tilo would know that. Yeah, I'll pass again. All right, GG. Nest is out. Yeah, Nest goes down to code A. Uh, MC, though, through to the round of 16. Excellent. Good job by MC. Great, great strategy choices. He actually played so well today. Even he when he really lost did. the virus, I'm actually like looking at MC. I'm like, damn, man. Every time I've seen him play for the past couple months, he's looked way better than even when he used to win everything. He's just looked he's, unbelievably solid. He's really improved. Yeah, I want to talk just briefly about that game and the choice by uh, Nesty to go for the Roach Hydra Ling. And we see they are actually very good friends. Uh, you know, MC was coaching Nesty as he played Squirrel at IPL, you know, in that booth all the time after games trying to help him out. So they're close. Uh, but anyways, just to go ahead and mention why Nest T made the choices he did. Uh, MC very oftentimes does follow up anything he does with Blink. That's like the style he's been known for in you know the past six months maybe. Uh, and if he had gone for Blink Stalkers, if he had Blink Stalkers as his tech at that point, uh, that attack that Nest T did would have been far scarier. But when you couple a lot of Force Fields and Colossus, against someone who has no anti-colossus, it crushes anything. So, uh, Nest T simply, you know, he made the wrong read, he did the wrong strategy there against the tech route that MC had taken. MC took out a very crucial overlord uh, much earlier in the game that we were too busy talking about other stuff that I couldn't point out, that was headed in to find the robo. So we never actually got to see exactly what was going on. It happens, Nest T down to code A. <sighs> Well, he'll be back. He's that Nesty. is the nature of competition. Um, Nesty deserved to lose that. I did. Nesty uh, played great.
Yeah, I love I love uh, the Strat in game one. You know, Virus came out in first place, but I feel like Nesty played uh, pretty much the best in the group. That's just... He played pretty well. I did not like the last game, though. I felt like last people were making kind of small mistakes against uh, vi uh, a Virus, and he was capitalizing upon them. But Let's go ahead and take a look at the Anyways. results for uh, today's games. We're going to throw that up on screen for you. I promise. <laughs> All right, Virus in first place, despite only getting like 6% of the vote. MC in second, Nesty unfortunately in third, now in round two of Code A. And Inca falling down to round one of Code A, He just wasn't cut for it. This was a hard group, dude. It hard, was. hard, it hard It was group. a really hard group. Well, uh, great work today, Artosis. You too, Tasis. It actually was a great day, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. And here is our top 16. Seven Terrans, seven Protoss, There's two Zergs. Two Zergs. J July and Lenok being the only Zergs, like July and July Jr. basically. And then we have for Protoss's Genius Hero, Squirtle, Parting, Oz, Nanawa, MC. That is an all star lineup for Protoss. And then for Terran, the SEC, Teja, Supernova, Marine King, Morrow, MVP, Virus. Not exactly the lineup you might expect, but a very strong one nonetheless. I feel like this is going to be the season for Protoss. Is just looking at this group, you know. Yeah, this is actually, I think, the most Protosses we've ever had in the round of 16. And, and not just that. I mean, if you look at the Terrans, yeah, they're good, but there's a few. You know, this is like guys, but these, the who's the, the, who of Protoss. The Proto yeah, this is like this is everyone literally who are guys missing, like Huck. Yeah, I guess Huck. Like, and, who else? Um, I'm trying to. I'm sure there's like one other. I'm not thinking of right the same, but that is a sick lineup of Protosses. That's like the Protosses that. That's like literally the list that I watch if you're, every yeah, game. Of. Just, if you're a guy like uh, or toasts me that you know plays Protoss and likes Protoss, these are like all the people that I would. No, those are literally the people of. that yeah. I watch every game of. Yeah, for Protoss. Well, it's gonna be good for us. I'm gonna be a lot better by the end of the season. I have a lot more builds. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Um, the group oh, nomination. Yeah, check out the group nomination. Uh, it's uh, the information is down at the bottom. April fifteenth, guys. Definitely come check that out. That's right. Forget about those taxes. Watch the group nomination. Yeah, don't pay your taxes. Just group nomination. Pay All right. your GSL tax. Send us dollars in envelopes. <laughs> <laughs> um, did we do it? Uh, I think so. Guys, follow us on Twitter. I'm Artosis. He's Call Me Tasis. And, of course, Gom TV. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. I'll see you again soon here at the GSL Code S. Try and tell me